All right, welcome back, everybody. The little girls were great, weren't they? Uh, looking out across the Helena Valley, that is a prescribed burn uh, that was started yesterday. Ongoing work here today, up again close to uh, the York area, out in that direction. How about that? 84 degrees right now, and in Great Falls, 81. And that cloud behind the graphic right there, that's the thunderstorms. Those are the thunderstorms that came across the area a couple hours ago. Haverant, 85. Glasgow, Jordan, up into the 80s. Great Falls, we cooled down into the 70s with the storms that came through and then warmed back up here. And close to some of the storms, we've got a little bit of a, a gustier wind, but the wind is not really much of a problem. And the air quality will really not be a problem anytime soon. Again, Montana fires at a minimum, if anything, a little bit of some smoldering going on on those fires. But same goes for a lot of the western United States. This is a really quiet fire season, all things uh, compared to the last few years. But there you can see a couple of those showers and thunderstorms going through Helena. A couple of little sprinkles out there. Looks like it had a lightning strike out there down closer to Townsend earlier. There go the thunderstorms that move through the Great Falls area now pushing out even across uh, Geraldine and working their way up into central Shoto County. That's a good thunderstorm right up there around the upper Missouri River breaks there, pushing in the direction of Loma and Big Sandy and lightning strike in the last uh, half hour or so right around the Lewistown area with that little disturbance moving through. Now, some moisture out ahead of the cold front that is still hanging out back close to Seattle, and that will be coming through tomorrow. So until then, we'll be looking at some showers and some thunderstorms and some good moisture all the way down through the four corner states here. So some showers and thunderstorms working their way again through Shoto County up into Hill and Blaine counties uh, later this evening. Fergus County seeing some wet weather over the next few hours. One little disturbance. And then here comes another cluster of some showers and thunderstorms pushing up to around Basin and Boulder. Uh, could see some wet weather here around Helena and Townsend a little later on this evening. Some of the showers may push up through Great Falls and the central part of the state here through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. And then the cold front comes through a little later on. We may have a few thunderstorms pop up in the western part of the state, but we're still looking at some storms. Glasgow, Jordan, on the Lewistown area. About 5.30, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, the last few thunderstorms will uh, start to fizzle out here, and then we'll start drying things out. And boy, from really Thursday all the way through the weekend, it should be very nice. We have a few isolated showers and storms up in the northeast part of the state. So it was warm today. It'll be a little cooler tomorrow and Thursday behind this front. But then Friday, we're back into the warmth. Saturday and Sunday, this final weekend of summer, Maybe one of the, the nicest final weekends of summer uh, here ever because it will be warm, it will be sunny, it will be dry. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, some colder air comes in, maybe cold enough for some mountain snow. Tonight, a couple showers and thunderstorms even after midnight here. So we'll have a little activity through the overnight hours so around the Helena area, maybe around 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow. The front works its way through the state. It's slightly cooler behind the front. A few isolated showers and thunderstorms, a little more in the way of some shower and thunderstorms, uh, along with some clouds further east here through the state. Thursday, the storm moves out. Sunshine moves in. We're in the 70s. So again, maybe a couple storms up in the northeast corner of Montana. For Friday, here we go. High pressure moving in, 70s and low 80s, and that high pressure will anchor itself right over the state here this weekend. And boy, this uh, final weekend of summer again will be fantastic. But towards the middle part of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a colder, wetter system moves in.